A heinous crime out of Montgomery County, a mother charged with murdering her 11-year-old son. And tonight we are hearing from her attorney. And Joanne, you spoke to him. I did. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Dawn. You can look at this through multiple angles, multiple lenses. It's all still very hard to imagine from a law enforcement perspective. A mother murdered her child. But tonight I had a candid conversation with Ruth Dorenzo, Whitehead's defense attorney, and he says she simply snapped under the weight of mental illness. This is 50-year-old Ruth Dorenzo Whitehead staring blindly and wrapped in protective gear. The Horsham woman on suicide watch days after police say she strangled her son in their Montgomery County home. I, I was, I am, am now fully convinced that this tragedy is uh, solely as a result of her mental illness that, that she suffered because there is no other explanation. Any sane person would never do this. Veteran so Philly criminal defense mind. attorney Eugene Tenore was hired to represent Dorenzo Whitehead, who told police she killed her 11-year-old son because she didn't want him to deal with the family's financial difficulties. In the history, there's no child abuse history. There's no neglect. There's nothing other than, by all accounts, someone who loved this child dearly and snapped. To use the vernacular. Police say Dorenzo Whitehead committed the crime and then drove to the Jersey Shore, where her SUV was found partially submerged in the ocean. She was picked up in Wildwood Crest, where they have a summer home. To think that someone is capable of um, taking a belt to their child's neck and strangling them. The Montco DA choked back tears as he talked about this case. Tenari described representing clients like this as painfully difficult. I don't feel any differently than any other individual who watched it. I have children, so uh, we have to set that aside and do what we have to do. Dorenzo Whitehead waived extradition from New Jersey this morning and was formally arraigned on the charges in Pennsylvania from the Montco Correctional Facility this evening. The, the, if, if she were not mentally ill, you and I wouldn't be having this discussion right now. The next steps in this case, a preliminary hearing, discovery, investigation. Chinari says his client will undergo a forensic psychiatry evaluation. And then, of course, there is Matthew Whitehead's funeral. And the family will, of course, try to pick up the pieces in this unbearable tragedy. Dawn. All right, Joanne, it is absolutely unimaginable. Thank you.